What's happening, Facebook? Welcome to another edition of Messages in the Madness with George Truly, Longhorn and Comedian. It's Sunday night. Yes, it is 8 p.m. I am here. You are here. And I appreciate you being here because that's what we do on Sunday night. It's been a whole year since we started doing this. And honestly, uh, the three of y'all that watch on a regular basis, I appreciate and love y'all so much. I'm just man, I know it's more than three of y'all. It's higher. That's what I'm saying. All right. All right. Thank y'all very much. How you doing? What's happening? How is it hanging? How is it swinging? What it is, what it ain't, what it going to be like. I am just happy to be here. I was just on another call, on another Zoom call. Zoom is just becoming a thing anymore, ain't it? Uh, but I was just on another call talking about uh, relationships. And yeah, maybe I'm not the person to talk about. It. Well, yeah, I do have some good stuff about relationships. Um, but anyway, it was a good call. It was good. You know, it was fun. I appreciate uh, Peer Talk 2.0 for letting me have, for letting me be on there, being a uh, popping in and talking a little bit because that's what I do. I love to talk, you know, and that's why I hang out down here in the basement because I can talk to me all day long. And people go, well, man, you know, you're crazy if you talk to yourself. Like, no, you're not crazy if you talk to yourself. It's okay to talk to yourself. It's okay to answer yourself. The problem is when you interrupt yourself. Now, that's an issue. So anyway, um, hope everybody's doing good. It's been a good week. Uh, everybody, hope everybody's healthy and strong. Uh, happy birthday. Shouts go out to, uh, grandson, Makai, Lil Horn, as y'all know him. Y'all watched him grow up on Facebook. He's 13 now and happy birthday. Shouts go out to my grandgirl, Kayla. She'll be 13 on Tuesday. We used to, yeah, they're three days apart. And we used to call them the, uh, co-conspirators because when they was a little bitty, they were thick as thieves, but now they're teenagers and yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know how that works. So that's a that's a great thing, you know. Um, I got a chance to hang out with him yesterday, and that was cool. And I got to see Kayla today, so that was cool. So you know, proud Papa, and y'all know how I am about my little people. So I um, look over here, and uh, oh, let me see, let me say, hey, I see eight people on the screen, but I can't see who I was there. So you know, I don't know you're there if you don't send me a like, a thumbs up, or something like that. So I'm looking at my magic mirror, and who I do see is I see the net. Hey, Nanette. I see Charlotte. I see Lorenzo. Hey, thanks a lot, man. On my anniversary, it's my first anniversary of uh, Messages of the Madness, but I'll take three. That We don't speak that into existence is what we're going to do. So, uh, man, a lot going on. The Cowboys won today. So, yes, I'm rocking my Cowboys t-shirt. Yes, I am. Uh, Cowboys for life. I don't even care what you're talking about. Uh, unfortunately, my second team, Kansas City, lost. That was crazy. That was a crazy game. And then the Saints play tomorrow night, so I look forward to hopefully getting a chance to see that. Longhorn has been invited to a polite conversation about politics, and that's going to air on Facebook. I'm going to put it on my page Wednesday night. Yeah, I'm going to be polite, so that's going to happen. Um, what's up, Jack? Good to see you, James. My favorite Vietnam vet. Good to see you, bro. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Oh, I do. Terry is out of the hospital, Terry Jones, he's out. Um, and that's a blessing. That man rode six hours with a ruptured appendix. So he almost didn't make it. So I'm glad that he is still here. And then uh, last but not least, I got an email today. I put out, you know, the the the, uh, the update to thank you for your service. You know, just letting people know what's going on and appreciating the support and everything. And I want to send out a special shout out to Sunrise for a donation that they made to thank you for your service, which is going to go to help uh, thank more veterans. So thank you very much for that. So that is the announcements for this week. Yeah, I feel like the, I feel like the church announcement person. So, um, oh, and then Longhorn did start working on his second book. So it's going to be called Messages of the Madness, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. So, and thank for those of y'all that have read my book and I appreciate you very much. What are we going to talk about today? The message today. What are we talking about today? Oh, let me look over here. Let me see. Oh, okay. With, okay, Lorenzo. That's what's... <laughs> I went to school in Junction City, Kansas, so it's in the comments. So, yep. Yeah, tell everybody I said, hey, out that way. Man, I hope I get out that way sometime soon. Uh, what our message is today is we're going to talk about remember where you came from. Yeah, remember where you came from. Do you remember where you came from? You ever think about where you came from? Do you ever reflect back to, to where you came from and recognize and realize how it has made you the person that you are today? 
the things that you learned growing up and how they are, how they are attribute to your life now. Because I know the old saying is that, um, what's the old saying? Basically what you learn as a child, you know, how, whatever, whatever you taught as a child is, you know, how you would turn out, you know, when you get older. Well, Longhorn had a lot of things that happened to me that shouldn't have happened to me. A lot of things that happened to me that should have happened to me. Um, and I can honestly say that, you know, it's a ref it, how you grew up does reflect in your adult life. Um, people that are taught to love, we, they, they're, they tend to love people as adults. People who are taught to hate tend to hate people as adults. Uh, people that, uh, I mean, just simple things that we learn as, as kids carry forward, you know, like tying your shoe. You learned that as a kid. So the thing I'm looking for is the post that I put up. It said, I've, you know, I put up uh, Nightfall Last. I said, let's play. You know, we were so poor we had to do what? Well, one of the things I do remember is growing up, you know, um, we didn't have a lot of money. And so, and it was funny because there were times in my life when we did have money, then there was times in my life when we didn't. Yeah, it was kind of a, you know, weird thing. My mother was a gambler. And there were times when we had everything. And then there were times when mama would lose the rent money and we would have to move. Uh, I was writing and I was reflecting back to uh, my eighth grade year in school. I went to two different middle, middle schools that year. And I uh, had made some money earlier and bought my very own pair, my very first pair of Nike tennis shoes there, a pair of canvas white Nikes. And I used to keep them things spotless clean because I played basketball. I used to watch them, watch them and bleach on a regular basis. And long story short, I was playing. I was having a great game because my auntie had came to see me play. And I was um, doing a fast break back down the, back down the uh, court. And I stopped real fast. And my foot went right out the side of that tennis shoe right there in the middle of a game. Oh, man, I was hard. I was mortified. And the coach made me use somebody else's shoes to continue playing the game because I was a starting forward. I think I was starting center. I've been the same height since I was 13. I think I was starting forward. But the shoes that I got repl that replaced that were not the Nikes. I actually got some pro wings from Payless, which, you know, we, we all know back in the day was, you know, not necessarily the same quality. But what, that, what I learned from that was to buy better stuff and take care of your stuff. So it's one of those lessons I learned as a kid. Now, the question I asked was, you know, um, we were so poor we had to, people said things like put tissue, you know, put a uh, newspaper in their shoes because they had holes in the bottom of them. Somebody said uh, they, they grew up without central air and central heat. You know, they had to use space heaters or some people uh, grew up without, you know, without phone or cable. Yeah, you remember that was a big deal to go to people's houses and they had cable. So you would go spend the night over their house just to watch cable and just to realize it wasn't shit on cable. Um, Jason said he used to watch, they were so poor, they used to wash paper plates. You know, um, Kenneth said he lived in a boxcar and chopped their own cotton. It was, that wasn't a brother, that was a white guy. Yes, white people used to chop cotton too. You know, uh, Lorenda said we had lettuce, Miracle Whip sandwich, on Wonder Bread, I was like, damn, y'all had Wonder Bread? <laughs> we didn't have Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread was something that you just walked by in the store and we're like, man, that's the, according to the TV, that stuff is so soft, you know, but. So I'm pointing these little things out because now we're here, we're, we're adults. We're making our own decisions. We're buying our own clothes. We're, you know, buying our own TVs and cars and things of that nature. But have you really, you know, stop to think about where you came from and where you are now. You know, I know Charlotte put up a post, you know, talking about, you know, that they didn't have electricity until she was in high school. Wow, which, you know, kind of takes me back to last week's conversation about, you know, being grateful. But just, just stop and think about it. Here's the reason why I want you to remember where you came from. Because some of these things, matter of fact, one of the posts I put up the other night and um, I basically said, a matter of fact, I put it up last night. I said, last night I had a taste for a piece of booty bread with margarine and sugar sprinkled on it. Well, when we was growing up at times, that's all we had was, if you don't know what booty bread is, that's those last two pieces of bread in the loaf. 
that nobody wants to eat because they tough. And then margin, you know, you always had a little bit of margin of butter. And then there was always a little bit of sugar in the bottom of the bowl you can actually get to. And, and we would take that booty bread and, and we would toast it and with, uh, with, some, with some margin on it or butter and then sprinkle sugar on it. And that was a sweet treat. But my whole point to all this is think about where you came from and think about where you're at now. And think about the things, the, le the life lessons that you learned growing up that have helped you to become the person that you are today. Now, nobody likes to think about the bad things or the negative things or the times that they had to do without, but there are a lot of people right now that are going through that in this day and age. They are going through without running water, or clean water. Some people don't have electricity in the house. Some people don't know. Uh, you know I, some people don't know when they're going to eat. And I know you can manage food banks all over the place. Yeah, but some people don't even have a car to get to the food bank. So again, we stop and we think about where. What I'm trying to get you to think about is where you came from and where you're at now. You know, a friend of mine has a concrete business. I remember. 10 years ago, this particular person was having trouble taking care of their family. Now, they are able to do whatever they want to for their family. So, instead of going, and now they can go out and buy brand new this and brand new that, but they contacted me and asked me if I could help them find a used truck because they know I'm, I work in the car business. They remember where they came from. So instead of going out and blowing their money on something brand new, they're looking for something used. They remember where they came from. And so many people don't. And I know it's kind of tough, it's kind of harsh, it's kind of, but it's real. So as you go through your day to day, what I challenge you to do is to think about has your life always been as easy as it is now. You may be going through some tough times now, but has your life always been this way? Do you ever go back to the neighborhood where you came from and have those flashbacks of how things were and what you did to change those things? What was it that you did to make your life better? What was it that you did to overcome those obstacles of where you came from? Now understand some, some people are born in the six, born, live and die in the same town. Some never leave. Some I've known people who have never left St. Louis. They've gone to the, you know, to East St. Louis, but they've never traveled. They've never seen anything different. They've never done anything different than what they do every day. So those people don't grow, unfortunately. They grow very little. Yeah, there's actually people like that. But you, you're a little different. You've had the opportunity to, to see some things and experience some things and to live, you know, live some places that were different. But do you ever go back to where you came from to just to just look around and reminisce and be appreciative of where you are now versus where you were back then? Now, okay, if you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth and you had everything that you wanted you may not have had everything that you needed. Because see, one thing about it, money came by love, affection, attention, not genuine love, affection, or attention. Think about that. Yeah, so that's the message for tonight. Let's see. Let's look over here here, see what's going on. Hey, Randy, good to see you back, bro. Randy was out for a little bit. Glad to see you up and around, man. Um. James, you know, he said Fort Knox. And then um, let's see, James says, have done without so, doing so now ain't so tough. I get that because you remember where you come from. You remember the, those life lessons that you taught, that you were taught growing up. So it makes it a whole lot easier to deal with things when um, we're not born with silver spoons in our mouths. Uh, uh, let's see, Randy says, we didn't have runner running water until I was 15 years old. Yes, we were that poor, but I would not change the way I was raised at all for all the gold in Fort Knox. 
I get that, Randy, but you know there's no goal in Fort Knox, right? Um, Y'all see this picture of me on the screen there? That's me at 18 months old. I was sitting, I was in Heidenhammer, Texas. And there was a one room, well, let's take that back. It was a one bedroom shotgun shack that my great grandmother Edna lived in. And I, you know, my mother had me when she was 14 years old. So my great grandmother took me at birth and she, uh, my mother and I lived there with her. So I thought my great grandmother was my mother and my mama was my sister. But as you can see that porch right there, we were not living in, uh, we weren't living high off the hog. Old country boy. And for, I remember there was a ditch in front of that house that when I was four, five years, three, four, yeah, four, five years old, I used to run across that ditch and, and wave down the Greyhound bus so my mama could ride it into town. I remember I was potty trained in an outhouse. Yeah. So then, you know, when I, it makes me look back and appreciate the different things that I have in my life now, just thinking back to, or looking back at where I came from very humble beginnings so it makes it makes appreciating what you have now even that much more special so um well, i think guys that's gonna do it for the night in the meantime um check me out on facebook check me out on instagram check me out on tiktok uh check me out on twitter i'm starting to use the twitter feed a little bit more uh wednesday if you're not doing nothing i'm gonna put it up live check me out i'm gonna do a political polite conversation about politics because honestly politics is one of my is a passion of mine i actually wanted to run for public office yes i did um but on more than one occasion i was dissuaded from doing such and that's another whole story maybe i'll write about that sometimes so with that i'm gonna say that hey mary lou good to see you um Lorenzo, hey, Ryan, what's happening, brother? Good to see you. Thank you very much for popping in. Hey, man, I love y'all. God loves you. Respect yourself. Take care of our kids. Respect our vets. You know, whatever you do, just be you. And don't forget where you came from. Because where you come from, didn't forget about you. I'm Longhorn. God bless y'all.